여러분 안녕하세요. Bonjour tout le monde. Hello everyone. My name is Ji Hee Min. I am very grateful to be doing this virtual studio visit with you. And thank you KCC for inviting me. At the start of the pandemic, I moved my studio to home and have mainly been working digitally and on small projects that involve processes that are manageable on our dining table. Last year, I was fortunate to get a grant from Canada Council for the Arts to redevelop a body of work for an online dissemination on CBC Radio Canada. So I worked on the documentation of a performance that was done during my residency at Est Nord Est, which is in a small rural town in Quebec called Saint Jean Port Joli, on the land of La Première Nation Malécite de Vigère. There, I was privileged to experience nature up close, and had a magical encounter where a flock of migratory birds flew above me. They were flying so low to the ground that I noticed their flapping sound. It was massive, yet clear enough to distinguish individual flapping, vigorous yet soft. I wanted to recreate this surreal experience, so I started researching ways of mimicking the flapping with objects that show traces of my body parts. I ended up making a clapping device that I wore on my back to stroll along Le Fleuve Saint Laurent. I have always envied migratory birds for their ability to travel back and forth between two homes. As an immigrant settler, I am a visitor on these unceded territories of many indigenous nations, and I always struggle and contemplate between my yearning for home and a desire to belong. This performance has evolved into many formats, such as sculpture, print, photography, and installation. So for the Canada Council digital project, I redeveloped this body of work as an online dissemination, optimized for virtual scrolling, and incorporated animated drawings. Here is a little glimpse of the work. I adapted the work for online viewing with emphasis on vertical scrolling. By creating a long vertical sequence of elongated images, I wanted to generate shifts in emotions and perception. Therefore, this work is best viewed on a smartphone or on a small tablet in portrait mode. I wanted to create tangible and tactile feel to a digital experience by combining both traditional processes and digital technology. Because my work talks about the themes of memory and yearning, I have been using cyanotype as a main medium in my work to convey nostalgia. One thing I and many have noticed at the start of this pandemic is um, how harsh we have been to the mother nature. And um, with the lockdowns, we all noticed the comeback of the wildlife and how the earth was doing a um, tiny bit better without human presence. So I thought of endangered and extirpated animals in Ontario and imagined them coming back in our empty city streets. I started to collaborate with photographer Eric Garsonen to combine drawings of animals that are extirpated in Ontario with the empty street photographs that Eric took during the lockdowns. We are in the process of creating a body of work that will manifest in various formats such as prints, flipbook, sculpture, and digital art. So this is an exciting new project I have been working on lately. And we are really hoping to grow this project bigger and ready for physical showing once things get better. I'll end this virtual studio visit with a short glimpse of a flipbook project. 
It's an animated image of a lone curlew on an empty downtown street making silent cries. I hope everyone is well and safe. Thank you for watching.